All right, hello everybody. We are live with Guilty Gear Strive Intermediates, an FGC, FG, wow, great intro, Gavin, an FGC showcase presented by Gavin XI, that's me, and I'm also joined, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, by Azure Halcyon, how are you? Hello, everyone, doing well. I'm excited, this is our second one of these FGC show nights we've done uh, in the past month. Uh, and we had such a good time with the first one, we've already went ahead and quickly tried to arrange another one. And as you see in the title, it is Guilty Gear Strife Intermediates. Now, Azure, when you hear Intermediates, what do you think of? What is your... Oh. What are you oh, imagining? <laughs> the hard questions already. It's a broad oh. question, right? Yeah, it is a broad question. Oh, I don't know. It's like someone... I guess it's like more of a mentality of like, all right, now I've got beyond just hitting the buttons and it's like at that period of like all right i gotta watch vods i gotta okay. look up start looking up frame data like i i think that's like the minimum threshold in my opinion is like on a psychological like premise for like what i consider an intermediate right. but that's just me I think I think that's a, a, a good enough definition to me honestly um but but it is vague and because it's vague uh I mean, we have a kind of a broad spectrum of player skill here, even at quote unquote intermediate. Um, Schoolgirl Crush, who's in our roster, really only started playing the game three, four weeks ago, has made a lot of progress. Meanwhile, Ferox is like on the cusp of like hitting that tournament mid level play, I would say. But uh, we won't drag this out too much longer. Uh, let's go ahead and we can tell our players to go and get started. We're starting with Pushing Hat and First Level Cleric. Um, as our first set, so we'll give them the go-ahead. It is uh, best of five, first to three, the entire tournament through. Yep. All right, looks like they're getting ready, and our players are... Looks like they're good to go. So, um, yeah, initial thoughts? Uh, I don't know first level cleric that well. I've seen them play a few times. I've seen Pushing Hat play a while. Uh, Pushing Hat, I've known him to have a character crisis the majority of this Man, game's lifetime, you... yeah, which might yeah, be one reason he doesn't play this game that much. We all so... know a few people uh, that can identify going through a character crisis no matter what game they play. And sometimes that just makes you not play the game. Yeah, uh, choice paralysis. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. that. So, like, so the thing about the roster of players we have, some of these guys are very active in playing mm -hmm. Guilty Gear and are just like learning as they go. Others have played a while and took a break. Uh, Pushing Hat and First Level are the first group, right? right. They uh, are certainly the players who uh, played it a lot at launch and haven't played it as much nowadays. Right, right, right. All right, we're starting with Ride the Fire. Damn, all right. <laughs> Not a sole player to be seen right now. Good space pushing by pushing head. Hat. Yeah, pushing head showing uh, what the smell of the game smells like. It smells like a smelly foot. Early round win, perfect for pushing hat. Winner of this match is going to go ahead and face our top seed, Ferox. Mm. So Ferox uh, should be studying this one a little closely. I don't know if he's happy to be potentially fighting a Geo. Should this result yeah. stand? I can already feel the two Ds uh, starting to sweep from halfway <laughs> halfway across the screen right now. Uh, now, first uh, first level clear definitely just has to land one or two pop busters, and that's it. Like that's <laughs> just that's just that grappler privilege. Ooh, armor. He armor through. What's it gonna be? Mr. Meaty. It's fine. Oh, fine. fingers! Check these check these hands. <gasps> Try to go for a grab on the uh, heat knuckle, sensing a jump. Gotta block it out. Yeah, yeah H's reflector. Ooh! Is he gonna... Uh, no, no Pick confirm on the... the after, uh, yeah. yeah, no no confirm on the heat knuckle or anything, but that's okay. I think something that, like, screams you're a mid-level intermediate player... Mid-level is also just a really broad term. But, uh, that you're not... That you're a step above a beginner is, uh, just knowing how to block better. Oh, yeah. Or knowing how to block. I guess. And I think that part of that is what you see in these like slightly better than beginners matches where they tend to go a little bit longer because they know how to block, but they don't know how to combo, right? Like, or 
in some right. cases, right? Right. I guess the broad term that we're kind of like looking for right now is uh, like optimization. It's like they know what is like generally like they know the general feel for a lot of things, but now it's like they're exploring and trying to like get like. The mechanical prowess and like optim like the beginnings of optimization under their fingers. And now I know like how to space that. myself away from pots five uh, or six B, but I don't yeah. know what to do after that, right? Right, and yeah, and I and I guess it's like yeah, it's like those gaps of knowledge it kind of points in and like okay, this is what I need to study, this is what I need to do. It's like I know a few things, I don't know everything. Ooh, Cleric, damage! Uh, getting uh, winning neutral early. Yep. Is that new, new season uh, dash cancel starting to be shown by Pushing Hat? Oh, a 6P. Take this knuckle sandwich. Oh, oh my god, we are sweeping. Ooh, one cornerback. The Ooh, janitorial convention oh, just sweeping switch. everywhere. Oh my gosh. Aegis Reflector, what's it gonna be? Don't fall for it this time, Pushing. Just block it. Just walk it no! down. Oh, oh, it's it's not mix, mix. oh my god, I did not know you could uh, get a 6H uh, heat up, uh, the 6H uh, OTG. And wow. Cleric takes it. The classic no mix mix, the walks down pushing hat. It's just when you are not opt. I, I say that as pushing does a very good optimal combo. It's hard to beat characters like heavies like Dumpkin when you don't have full combos and optimal combo routes. There's right. so much meat to get through. You can't right. just chip it one, two D at a time. Imagine uh, Ooh, playing a character okay. with uh, high health and high guts. Can't, 50 can't meter, what's he gonna do? 50 meter on a wall? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, you're scooped. Two more guesses like that and you win. Oh, uh, H's reflector walking it down, okay, okay. Don't press, okay, nice. <laughs> Going for dust, still walking down. Pushing hat oh, is two uh, H's too far away. <gasps> the gold burst did not connect, and that's that's it. Pushing hat or not? Yeah, pushing hat has the spacing in mind, right? Right. He is doing very good to like play to Giovanna's strength, right? Like your ability to shimmy left and right. Yeah, be on rocket skates. Pretend you're Bakota from Third Strike. Oh, no juggle from close slash in the air. Slide head. Oh, go for pop buster. It didn't connect. I don't think, uh, didn't see any indication that Cleric is attempting to do Kara Pop Busters, but it's only been a few times where they, uh, actually threw it out, so not sure. Yep. Geo2D. Sweet, sweet, sweet. War Crime Button. So oh, my favorite yeah. In our Discord. The... Yeah, of course. Nice. And that is it. He uh, had Pushing had not confirmed a super for a wall break this set so far, so I kind of thought he'd just uh, punch it. him through the wall. <laughs> yeah, but oh, hey, okay, yeah, confirm, yeah. confirm and kill. Yep, that was good. Mankind All right, game three, Pushing uh, on match point here. This is first to three, best of five sets. Yep, Clerks not out yet. Showing life. And, some and, pop busters. and Cleric's second round was a lot stronger than his first round. Both players are, you know, downloading his uh, two-way street. Let's see uh, what they picked up from each other. I like how they're laying the intro roll each time. Yeah. I don't know if you have to do it each time, but, you know, I, I get it. I appreciate it. Here we go. Game three. Pushing hell oh, up God. to two. He, he, took, he took a note. He took a note. <laughs> Cleric took a note. He started sweeping himself. Uh, flip kicks, yep. Plus on block. Oh, a spiral arrow whiffed and got a punish. Yeah, hammer fall is unfortunately really punishable. Oh, that's Ooh. gonna connect. Yep. What do you do with it? What do you do after it, though? It's true. It depends. Might have to ask last about, last about that. But uh, yeah, pop pot uh, Aegis Reflector no longer invincible on Sardo, which is uh, a little strange. And and what's worth saying is that Cleric is one good pot buster a game from this being an even set. 
Yep. Like both characters have this. Both players have the spacing thing down, but we're we're sort of our falling part is uh, just let, like win condition, right? And I think that that's probably also one of those intermediate things to talk about is knowing uh, what yeah. your character's win condition is, right? Yeah, getting to that scenario over and over again as much as you can, minimizing, like. Getting into your that win condition scenario as much as possible, and then definitely uh, putting the odds better in your favor. Ooh, Ooh Pushing Hat loves eating mages reflector. Yeah, he's just he's shiny. Pushing's just like ooh shiny. Oh no, slide head don't block that close. <gasps> oh, he went for it again. Oh my gosh. Well, that's no. kill. He'll get meter. Maybe. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. The guts is gonna. Oh, too deep. Yeah. That should kill. Uh, oh, nope. Sure. Nope. Just a little bit of life. 2D, what's it gonna be? Oh, <laughs> Just a oh, oh. oh, 6H. Big buttons win. Big buttons. I was not expecting that. Everyone has a plan until they're 6H'd in the face. Oh, prayer hands did not connect. It was a little weird for 6P. Oh. Uh, Cleric is not confirming the uh, 5H into anything. He doesn't know? Maybe? Ooh, guard! Ooh, guard in the Cleric showing life. I guess Reflector, there we go. Just Reflector, what's so it gonna Pushing be? Hat has been hit by this attack more often than not. Oh, and catches them in the air. Oh, good coverage. And that's like just that's the basic pot game plan, right? With the Aegis Reflector, throw it on the ground, him. kill him in the air. Walk him down, walk him down, walk him down. Some things never change since. Uh... Hat, every time Aegis Reflector comes out, he just sits there. He's like, Ooh, how shiny. Going, how am I gonna get hit by it this time? <laughs> shiny. Oh, to eat the plasma. Do I? Yeah, I'll, I'll stand for it this time, or I'll crouch and try punching it. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> some things never changed since 1992. You know, fireball, DP, fireball, fireball, here. We're only allowed to make fun of him because he's up to, up one set, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as we mentioned before, uh, yeah, just only a few few hits. Like Geo's got to do a lot, a little bit more work to get through each one of his uh, a lot, oh of god, <laughs> lot of abs. Each, each oh, ab is like. Not even a grab inside, it doesn't even matter! I guess we're like, it doesn't even matter. Oh, pushing hat falling apart a little bit. Spacing, footsies, footsies. It's a footsies handbook. It's, uh, it's what's it called? It's throws and sweeps. Peric is playing throws and sweeps right now. Without throws. Yeah. Push, oh, pushing, oh. I need to slow down and really just uh, start 6 being. He's He is uh, just eating a lot of jump in normals. Okay, on the move. Pushing hat getting in. Ooh, trade, that's fine. Slide head. Oh, he tried to no do a hammer fall to get close. Yeah, that's fine. Aegis Reflector, what's it going to be this time? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> sorry. <gasps> He's convert. Uh, Cleric's at least confirming it to some damage. Oh, burst. burst. Yeah, what's it going to be? Is it a heat knuckle? Is he going to read it? Burst if he loses the round, though. Oh, Ooh, that was good. Roman opportunity. Twice yeah. now. <gasps> just block. No. Cleric's Super? just got to yep. block. I think this might be it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's. Geo Super 100 tension hits so hard. Yeah. I think just supers in general, just like cutting through guts. It's not like a uh, Exarb where you like guts crush with like a uh, JA like 20 different times. It's like, doesn't matter if it does like two damage. It's just doing it two damage uh, every, you know, 50 times that you mash the button. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. But there's a being patient now. Pushing out, trying to just shimmy in slowly, gets in this time. Yeah, it's like pushing slow, uh, calm down a little bit, and is not getting slammed by uh, buttons trying to get in. Very grounded. I was about to say very grounded game as pushing gets a great IED. Yep. Larry had the right idea with two age. Oh, another Aegis. It's gonna be. Ooh, try to catch the slight head. Gets oh, over, it, but yeah, eats it. It's gonna be. Oh, oh needy two age, trying to fish for something. Won't end it here, but if you can get him to the corner. Oh, 2D. War crimes. Yes. War crimes. This is Cleric's last chance. Oh, war crimes again. Watch your ankles. Oh. Ankles are broken. Cleric's last chance. He goes out to pushing, pushing, takes it. Three to one. And that's a great first set to start this off on. Good for Cleric, showing some life there. Um, but moving to losers bracket round one, and pushing moves up to fighting Ferox.
so next up congratulations to pushing hat for the win their first blood of the tournament next up we have schoolgirl crush and sofa mm. sofa being uh just a little bit about these two players sofa is uh the leading best uh smash brothers and i guess by extension fighting game community to in south carolina oh, uh, i did not know that he uh plays fighting games off and on he's definitely more of a smash player but puts in a decent amount of time in traditional fighters and especially with strive releasing he uh has been putting in a lot more work and time playing chips and off Meanwhile, Crush, um, an old-time fighting game player who has taken a long, long break. I don't remember the last game he played, he said, but it was uh, it was a decades-old game. And has decided to kind of get into fighting games again. He's actually going to East Coast Throwdown with me uh, in September, early September. That's oh, local or, local or? He's local-ish to the area, yeah. Ah, okay. So, okay. Northeast, oh. Eastern, he's, he's getting right into it, and it's going to be a good time. Nice, but, nice. All right, looks like both players are up on the... Uh... On the podium so we'll see uh yep they are beginning so chaos and chip <laughs> is this hell <laughs> dude out of all the characters you can pick for your first time with a fighting game in man. ages that is crush yeah. went for chaos oh yeah. man oh yeah, wow, this, this, this man out. literally pulled it out and started shooting he's like oh they started blasting Dude, the start. I'm excited. You Ooh. know, I haven't actually watched that many mid-level intermediate heavy chaoses. I'm so That's excited. That's true. We, 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 yeah, we're we're a little uh, <laughs> we're a little too deep right now. Oh, good blocks. We, we, we good go, blocks. <laughs> we just go to tournaments and just get annihilated <laughs> by good heavy chaos players. Uh, you only crushes one, that, but yeah. Oh, that kills. Yikes. Yeah, both of these characters are paper. So I uh, might have dude. been. Uh, up with Sofa at about 2 a.m. watching him uh, grind some strive last night, so he's he's fresh on the tech. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. good dust. And no burst. Oh, oh missed full confirm. Drop the ninja running up and scooping. Dip is not that common Ooh. of a character. So this is probably also some matchup uh, experience. Unfamiliarity. Yeah. yeah, both of these characters, I guess at the at this level, I, I suppose, at least from what I can imagine, can't be too common. No, I can't imagine either. Both of these characters have definite. Oh, wow. Oh, Goomba stomps. Oh, did not confirm, unfortunately. Cool. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, seeing a lot of improvements last time uh, with. Um, Happy Chaos, oh. the Happy Chaos tech overall, covering a bunch of holes, doing frame traps with between buttons. I have to say, to... That Ooh, for Sofa, burst. the re the reason I thought you were talking about Sofa is because I've been to a recent tournament with Sofa, and he has improved vastly over the last month. Like he's on the cusp of like really having his character and like traditional fighters down to like oh now I'm improving against top level players. He's, he's very close. Ooh, air grab. Well, this man, this plan, oh! this man is playing Melty Blood. He's doing air footsies. All right, what's he gonna do? He's gonna shoot him. Just walk up, eat bullets. Okay. Three more. Concentrate. Oh, oh, oh I don't nice. This and this also refills the bullets oh, if nice. it doesn't kill. It. Never mind. He got shot up. I thought he it did. would scale really he, hard off just the one bullet, did. but that really nah. killed, huh? No, that killed. That. This man... This man's at a shooting shooting to, uh, gallery. Holy shit. Shooting to kill. Yep. Oh, man. Seeing, seeing chip. Oh, good blocks! Oh! Oh, nice. That could have been uh, confirmed, but I don't think uh, he was ready for that. But he did make it safe, so that's good. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Double sweeps. Oh, the gold burst, and wow! Oh, one, two, two, three. three. Super. Oh, I don't know if that's how it works. I think, I think he would have been able to super. Oh, it hits him with the feet. And so, this man's ankles. and so this is where that matchup unfamiliarity starts really coming into play, especially yeah. with a character like Happy Chaos, because 
to beat Happy Chaos, you have to know when to do what to block and how to approach, right? Right, right. But if you don't know how bullets and guard crush bullets work, then it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Or like recognizing even the most core basic block strings for Chaos, especially in 5k, 6k gunshot. In 5k, 6k throw, it's just recognizing that scenario. Oh, run of gold burst. Fire's full meter. That's my not doing the <gasps> He said, not today. Kage Busha, no fuck you. Oh, it didn't wall break. So no too far away from the corner. Yep. Oh, oh boy. This, so man this, man sure <laughs> this man has to reload. This man has to reload. This man has to reload. He said, oh, I see your fist. I, I think Sofa might be respecting Crush a little hard here. What a slam. A lot of time to block. Nope. And just like you said, respect it. Oh, recovered in time. Oh, man. Full concentration. Oh, 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 this Ooh, one that was going to be a frame trap. Oh, good confirms into Walford. That full combo, I thought he was going to drop it. <laughs> yeah, it looked a little sketchy, but... Yeah. Ooh, gunshot. Oh, perfect. the curse ball did not hit. Concentrate again. Gig shot. Shot up. Oh, curse ball hits. Yep. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Nice. Good spacing on, uh, I guess that's 2D, right? Yeah, that is 2D. The double kick. That's a little painful. They both have burst and gold burst. Oh, they tried to Kill burst. Each other. Punish. He's gonna die and for that, it. Yep, he's gonna. Yep, die for it. Sofa up, two one. <laughs> I'm sure a few people in uh, in this tournament are rooting for as as much as I would love Crush to win for the sake of like the underdog story. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people do not want to like fight against the Happy Chaos. They don't chaos, have to fight against. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely a demon, uh, one of the common demon characters for uh, all levels of play. All levels of play. Either because he's actually broken, or you don't know how to deal with it. But it's a terrible time either way. Right. Ooh, what a block! Panic super to get him away, but it's gonna yeah. lead to a punish. Oh, oh, not fast enough. Nope. Oh, with the two H beta blade. <laughs> It did end up being safe, but crush press buttons. Yeah, and that is it. Oh no! That did no damage. Wow. 50 meter he's throw crush. A... Yep. Is he gonna throw a gamma blade? Oh, he just runs up. This man's crazy. <laughs> Sofa's all Sofa's at 50? Tension? Yep. Oh, oh, I think that's it. He's prepping super. Yeah, I was gonna say he was buffering super! Yeah. As soon as he hit 50, I, think, I uh, knew that Crush would die to full screen reversal. Yeah, any any stance. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. I don't know how fast you can cancel out of it as a bait. I'm, I'm assuming that you probably could, but then again, I don't know. You I don't have play to this read character. It. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, ooh, 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 6k, 6k. Overheads, overheads. Ooh, good shot. Oh, straight into curse. I like it. Concentration. Oh, double yep. concentration. Ooh. Bad spacing. Footsies. Oh wow, ended up in the corner. Gotta get out of it, thankfully, but. He's got a block. No burst for okay. Shin. Blocks the, blocks the Rekka. Both players have meter. The overhead. <gasps> the man woke, woke up with 2k. Oh no, the gold burst hit. And that's the it. command throw. Yep. Yeah, and that's it. And Sofa takes it. Sofa takes it 3 1. Again, our second, our second 3 1 of the night. Uh, Sofa taking down Schoolgirl Crush, both, uh... That sends Cleric and Crush to the loser's bracket after the first two matches. And our final match for winners around one is going to be Iskin and Set on Keys. Now this one's going to be interesting. I'm excited to watch this one. So, Set on Keys, um, so I'll, I'll sort of like state that we have a bit of a click here. Uh, Pusheen, Set on, and Cleric are all uh, community members of us, of course, but they're also a part of twitch.tv slash Pusheen Hat. You guys should definitely follow him. Great dude. Um, but they kind of have joined together in this tournament. Uh, all of them kind of recommended each other, and I went to them separately, but... So they, they've been kind of practicing their own circle. Here we have Iskin, who is our DNF Beginners uh, Champion. 
this so man he, is playing. He knows how to play fighting games. Yep. He just has he, had to work on Guilty Gear. As he picks a uh, totally not Kai Kisuke. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Another Geo. A lot of a uh, lot of Rocket Skates representation tonight. Ooh. So a reminder this. Reminder of what we're watching, I'm Gavin, joined by Azure Halcyon. This is our Guilty Gear Strive Intermediates Tournament, and we have invited, made this an invitational, and invited seven players who fit the definition of intermediate players in our Discord community. We'll do more of these, but if you're uh, an average player, or, I mean, really, we, we do these for all skill levels, if, when we have enough people in the community who play these games, so. Ooh, Canadian Burst, unfortunately, by set up keys. <gasps> Unfortunately, did not confirm that. This can not the most optimal punish, but does send him away. Ooh, that that uh six k or sorry six h Tatsu is not Ooh, plus on block. Oh, oh, yeah, get, eats it. Yeah, did not block the last hit. A lot of active buttons from. Both of these characters. So Wiskin didn't have much faith coming into this tournament, uh, but like I said, I mean, one of the biggest reasons we've invited him to quote unquote the in, the uh, intermediate tournament is because he definitely is able to learn. He knows how to space, he knows how to block, and he knows how to do it well. He just doesn't know the character, right? And I think that's in direct opposition to Set on Keys, who knows the character better, but probably doesn't have the direct fundamentals quite as much, right? Right, like the overall like just transferable fundies. <laughs> Ooh. Very patient for Miss Skin. Ooh. That 6H might have been really bad. A lot of just far slashes from set on keys, keeping Miss Skin in. Ooh, did not bite on the uh, anti air attempt. <gasps> oh, Miss Spaces the 6H and gets Spiral Arrowed. Thank you guys for the follows. I hear in the background we actually don't have uh, follow sounds disabled, but thank you to everyone who's watching, who's following, who's subscribing, etc. Appreciate your you guys stopping by. Ooh. If you're here as a, a fan of one of our community members here, please uh, let us know in chat who you're rooting for, who you're here, what homeboys you're here to support as we come into game two here. Who won game one? I was processing stuff. Set on keys took it. Set on keys took it. And yeah, anyway, so why one hit was, was uh, Set on might not have like the pure fundamentals uh, the way that Iskin has, but definitely has more character familiarity. Yeah. Small correction from before. Uh, it was not 6H, it was 6S with the button that he's using most right now. Ooh, did no confirm to uh, better revolver. Ooh, dodges the war crime button. Ooh, Ooh catches him with a beta revolver. Two <gasps> H. <laughs> Straight up run up two H. Catches the button. This can this can do it. Ooh, good banana for sir. I'm yeah, surprised I can imagine that skin... Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, I was just gonna comment that I can't imagine, like, especially players dealing with Giovanna, especially if they're not, like, either well-versed in the fighting games or just, like, specifically in Strive itself. A lot of her buttons being positive on block, mm -hmm. I feel like can be tough for a lot of players to deal with until they start recognizing, oh, yeah, I can, you know, 6P the Spiral Arrow or the Flip Kicks, which are both, respectively, like, plus two or three in block, I think? Like, probably three or so. I, I think that is a good thing to note when it... Ooh! Oh, oh, this is the confirm, so it's gonna punish... Oh, yeah. wait, 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 was that OTG, really? Yeah, it was OTG. Okay. I was surprised, too. I'm just wrong, then. I thought, I thought that was a missed block, but, uh... No, I was gonna say that when you're uh, a beginner player and an intermediate player, when you're just coming out of being a beginner, uh, the way your character feels matters a lot. Like, I feel like I can get away with this button. And, you know, when you know how to play the game, that is, you know, being plus or minus on hit. But, I mean, it means a lot to, like, know how a character feels before you actually start looking into, like, the actual frame data of these buttons. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of, like, 
go bridge them to that exploratory phase of like, ah, yeah, this button feels good, or this is my win condition, okay, and then you start like making sure, like digging through, like, okay, these are the common buttons I like, these are the tools. Oh my god, he goes for a command throw. I kind of first one we've twice. seen from this game. Uh, I've, I've seen a Ooh. few. I've seen a few. He's not a few. That's been like his main form damage each turn. Heavy mob. Round. Oh, oh no! That's that hidden tech. Was that? Did you see that? I saw that. <laughs> Did you, see, oh, did you see the game freeze for a moment to yeah, give, uh, uh, yeah, give, yeah, uh, give set on time to think how am I gonna touch this? It's and then like, it comes like, like a I fucking just... torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a command throw. You have to dump that. And it has armor too, so you can't just like smack it out of the way. So, yeah, Heavy Mob don't really. This is kind of a problem like on opening days in vanilla uh, Strive, but now hardly, you see hardly any souls really use it nowadays unless you're really gonna claim it's Street really Fighter. hard to hard read someone. Street Fighter players have been jumping Akuma Raging Demon for ages now, we're used to it, but... Please. Please. <laughs> same, same energy, right? Oh yeah, you're right. It's like... Not not quite so much of a... Startup. Uh, startup being that fast. Ooh. So, so something that strikes me about this Soul Bad Guy, I don't think Soul Bad Guy is really Iskin character, but Iskin has not had time to practice the game, so I feel like it's kind of an Iskin, I want a character with good buttons and damage character, even if I don't have a combo with them. That's true. And he's, I can see that he's figuring things out as he goes along. I see like he's trying to oh, confirm, he's gonna oh, oh, he's gonna eat it, yeah. I mean, as I commented before, it's just like, oh, he got far slash, heavy slash. But then, like, he does, like, command throw accidentally, and, like, I think he's trying to do, like, uh, piecing together, like, oh, I gotta do Banner Revolver to confirm. So he, he's piecing it as he goes along, definitely, I see it. Oh, whiff, oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think he knows that, uh, Spiral Arrow is, uh, plus on block. The, the, uh, the quote-unquote cross-up, though, with the PRC was pretty cool if, uh, he did manage to, if he managed to yeah. get <laughs> This man's figured out a three-frame, but oh! <laughs> the rocket skates across. I just wish he could do it twice. He can get away with it. If he tried it twice, yeah, one yeah. time, I just wanted to do it. Yeah. Bad situation for Riskin, though. Next hit will kill. Oh. To so that puts up set on two to one yes. in our best of five set here. Last round and winners round one for our FGC showcase night. Iskin uh, being our uh, re returning champ, no, I guess not returning champion, different game, but he was our previous champion in DNF Duel Beginners. We thought he would toss him an invite to Intermediates. He has not put as much time into this game, and he'll be the first to tell you. He was very happy to create the room that they're all in in our Discord going 0-2. That was Iskin's idea. Ooh, 6 feet. Oh, this has the 2H. Like, I like the ideas that he's, like, throwing out. Oh, that's punishable. 6H on block is really fast, but, yeah, it's, uh, very you know unfortunate what I, if you get... Oh, you know yep. what I get the feeling of when I'm watching this skin here? I feel like this skin expects Gatlings to work how they should work. Right, because that's he's throwing fair. out a slash and then following it up with a punch. And yeah. like in most games, that's a real, very verifiable combo, right? But in yep. this game, it's not. Oh, did not bite should, on it. Should block. Oh, oh, oh just and it. just said, no, not today. Full meter, by the way. <gasps> burst. Oh. He has burst. Give himself space. You have to oh. work with. Oh, no, I needed to confirm. 100 meter in burst, it'd be tragic for Iskin to lose this. Oh, oh he does. a tragedy! A tragedy! So many resources. At least he does have burst for this next round, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If one thing, Iskin is very patient. Even as a soul player, even though he doesn't really play soul, but he is still very patient. We only saw, what, one DP from him this entire, entire time? And it hit, so 100%. Ooh, getting, uh, getting a lot of feet from uh, Geo. You know what I'm trying to picture? I'm trying to picture if I were in Iskin's shoes right now, what character would I play if I don't know how to play Strive by not play fighting games? I, it's Kai, right? Kai's got to yeah. be a trick. Uh, even in Kai, just because like a lot of the... If it was like Zerd or Plus R, yeah, I would definitely agree with you wholeheartedly. But because... Oh, missed there's two, oh, oh. Is he going to block it? I do not. Just jump it. No, Accidentally jump it. jumps it. And save. Asperger's yeah, I don't, I don't know. He would have to, he would have to do a little bit more homework for like uh, figuring out 
I don't think, uh, I think just because of nature of stride. Oh, I think this is kind of the backdash. No, oh, it's safe. But he might die to chip. Oh, mm. no. See, if he, if he had a combo, that was punishable. That was a free win. But yeah. set on keys is going to take the full set. 3-1. Congratulations to set on keys for taking it. And that takes us uh, through all of our winners round one matches. We're going to go ahead and jump right into our losers round one match between Iskin and Schoolgirl School Girl Crush. What do you think of our matches so far? We've seen everybody except uh, Ferox so far. As they go ahead and confirm their next match, we're going to go right into losers round one uh, between Crush and Iskin. Sorry about that. Was adjusting something really quickly. No problem. All right. Yeah, games have the matches have been pretty good so far. A lot of no fun. Com a lot of fun. Uh, no complete washes. So <laughs> straight up backflipped it. Yep. Mankind. So here we go. Duel one. So lighter versus this skin. This is turn lighter versus the gun. Players. Yep. Ooh, try to vortex it. Can't do that when cursed. Oh, this is gonna be a rough one since uh, Iskin very much does not know this. Uh... I think Iskin can learn it. I don't know if Iskin is going to figure out what to do once he gets in. This is the problem. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, he needed to. Oh, he's, I, I see. He, yeah, he's trying to piece it together. Like he, he knows generally the tools of what he can use. But he knows yeah, that magic uh, combos work. He just doesn't know they don't work in this game. Yeah. Which is not his fault. This was the common complaint about Strive, right? Yeah, the Gatling system is mm -hmm. uh fucked, to put it mildly. They've made it harder by making it simpler, basically. Yeah. And we're seeing that especially in mid or beginner intermediate set level matches, right? Oh, he faked the... Oh, 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 but he's got these! Oh! oh. Yo, he's got these. So he, he got the dojo training combo one. Oh, oh wow. he picked it up. Wow! That came out of nowhere. Where was that last set? I don't know. Maybe he's just waking up. Maybe his hands are cold. Getting shot in the air. Bullets everywhere. I like that. Curse. Ooh, I do like Crush is like learning how to play COD as we speak. Yeah, no, I do like uh, he's just getting there with uh, a lot of uh, happy chaos fundamentals of making sure that you always reload, always have your concentration, meter management, spacing. <laughs> Again, Ooh. I just oh, good way, good get away from the vortex. Has 50 meter, full bullets, a lot of concentration. Oh, so yeah, and yep. It's fun watching Happy Chaos's who are like in the middle of learning. Like before they become un insufferable, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's a lot of different decision making than uh, what, what I guess we're, we're used to at this point. Um, and it is uh, fresh to see. Like, I, I normally don't see like Happy Chaos's throw clones cool. just like that. Can yeah, it's just like. Double sh during the yeah. IB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see like any Happy Chaos's like do that. <gasps> Safe, yeah. This man concentrating. Please, it's a maintaining space. This game was hit by using Vortex a lot more. <gasps> this might did catch school, on... school, yeah, Oh, school we recovered in time, barely. School was watching the last game and heard us talking and saying, You have to jump. Yeah. You have to jump, Tyrant Rave. Crush goes up one set, or one game, rather. I see Iskin's putting putting a putting a game plan in his head. Ooh, can bringer gets the burst out early. I, I do genuinely think Iskin could just vortex nonstop, and he would eventually win, though. Uh, maybe not in cursed state, but yes, he definitely could. Oh, uh, Goomba foot stomp and shots away. <gasps> yes. Oh no. Yeah, the big thing is also like Soul 5K is now like so much more. It's got a lot more, uh, what is it, recovery frames compared to older games now. Even though it still is one of the few three-frame startup normals in Strive, but apparently uh, they had to tone it down. So, oh, hits the clone and gets punished for it. 
Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more careful with that 5k. It is a pretty good button, but it's not uh, what it used to be. Ooh, good block on the Bandit Revolver is negative. Yeah, Crush is really uh, maintaining his spacing really well, making sure he's staying in, uh, at least one zip code over. And we were saying that, oh wow, just walk up casually. Oh, a lot of fear, I was scared. <gasps> Ooh, 6k? So basic, he just jumps over it, yep. puts him in the corner. It works, time, it works. Right? Yep. Ooh, oh, oh, it needs your, oh, wow. One command grab? Oh, command grab probably oh. one and killed there. And we have another situation where Iskin's in the corner, has burst at 100 meter. What can, lets he do with it? Oh, it goes for a DP! Doesn't pop. No, it goes for a DP! <laughs> oh, so, so, as the self proclaimed DP specialist of every community he's in, my, my, my advice is go for it because you have 100 meter and can Roman cancel to make it safe. But, you know, not everyone can be Gavin the DP specialist. Tournament Ooh. life for Iskin. Shin Crush trying to survive and move forward in our loser's bracket. Just give him the give him the kidney punch. Definitely using six feet correctly. You see, he's using it every time he's like in the air. Oh my gosh, that actually that bullet connected. Amazing. Without even cursed. Without even getting cursed. Oh, it's I being mean, cursed. Bad burst by dodge the curse for what it's worth. Oh, that was a good Roman opportunity. Ooh, he's fishing. Oh, he's good patience. Punch him, yeah. And, and Iskin is slowly, you know, I see Panda in chat talking about it. You can see the gears turning in everyone's head, right? Because that's like the gears. level of play we're at, right? Where you can actually start acting on the information you get. It's just what you do with that information, right? Right. It's in the name of the game. Guilty Gears. Oh, oh the 6H oh, that's big. Oh, okay. slowly good learning burst. how to approach. Yeah, good burst from Crush. Making sure not to get massive damage. Iskin surprising us with another uh, possible uh, combo. Unsafe. Vortex. Oh, vortex. Oh he's, no, yeah, he he's missing combo. the the uh, six. Yeah. What is that? Six P or close slash? I think it's five. I think it's five K or s close slash. Either way, follow up is missing. Yeah, I think it's just five K that he needs to do after that to no concentration. To... <gasps> Goes for trying to redo a gunshot. Oh, oh goodbye. That is that is death. He said, come on and slam, and welcome to Japan. Hey now, hey now, LeBron James is in that other game. Yeah, he's also a war crime apparently from the Twitter <laughs> clips, so we won't, we, won't, we won't get to that. How does it feel to know that Space Jam is now a fighting game reference? I, I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> he did punish Reload though to end that. I don't know if it was on purpose, because this skin has been throwing out Tyrant Rave. But, yeah, uh, but I think he's watching it. Oh, I mean, he's working, right? He did block Fafnir. Oh, it's still cursed. You're oh, right. no. You can't, you're right. You called it earlier. You cannot Vortex while you're in curse. Yes. Yeah, I think he's going to have to recognize that. Ooh. JH, yep. Getting the uh, burst. I see him trying to, like, stagger pressure and maybe, like, tick throw with his 2k. But it's, uh... Yeah. Oh, plus turns. Running? I think we're slowly learning also. That's something that separates you from like being a Guilty Gear main and being a beginner intermediate player is follow up Roman Cancel. Oh, uh, yeah. Or uh, like classic habits like uh, stopping your run momentum with uh, FDA. <laughs> Or you know, waking up in the, the classic guilty gear. I was gonna uh, say the player that we're seeing the best Romans out of so far, I think, is pushing that. Yeah. Uh, but that said, that match is coming up next. Drugs versus yep. pushing that. Meanwhile, Iskin, here, uh, slow bulldogging. Ooh, nice. This skin is on oh. tournament life, by the way. This is his last round. Yep. Trying to blow through the clone. Yep. No meter. 
Oh, oh I, like I like it. I like it. I liked it. He's trying to weave his way in past bullets. <gasps> oh gosh, that 5k was spooky to whiff. Oh. Mm. Nope. Oh, the bullets. Not gonna kill. Yeah, no, that's that's it. That, that, that is that. That is that is that is it. Bang. And Crush takes it 3 1. Bang, bang, bang. And our beginner player, more or less. Schoolgirl Crush bringing out Happy Chaos and moving forward in our loser's bracket. Tell me how you feel about Iskin's run there, Azure. Kind of like what you said before. Like, he's, he's, he's getting it. He just needed to. Unfortunately, he just needed a little bit more tech underneath his fingers, and I, th I, I think he would have definitely been closer, and if not that, taken it because he was he was getting there. Then again, if we just told uh told him to just uh you know keep hitting the far slash, <laughs> maybe it would have been. I, I don't know. It is so. Hello. So we have Iskin stopping by to talk to us a little bit about that match. Our uh, champion DNF beginners winner, but uh, that, that didn't translate this time into Guilty Gear, which, you know, he's been trying to All convince me of that. Ass different game, I mean. <laughs> Man. One, one of those games has motion inputs, the other one doesn't. Boom, that's enough. Yeah. That's for him. Ooh, Ferox. Did, did you catch all the times that I uh, got hit because I was in the process of inputting my DP? Because I caught all the yeah, times. Yeah, I saw that. You're wiggling, you're like buffering, and then you got hit. And there like, were oh. a lot of times where I just was not um, was not fast enough on my inputs. Which uh, is unfair, yeah. like I legit didn't think it's nuts. Speaking of fast on inputs, I just want to comment at least for a moment on the match we've got in front of us. We have Ferox, our top seed against Pushing Hat, and I mean, I'll be a little honest, I think Ferox is like at the loosest definition of an intermediate. I think he's certainly up to like that idea of a mid-level player. Uh, and Pushing Hat's definitely feeling that right now. It doesn't help that Milia is not a common character, and you don't see many of them around. So if you don't know how to block multi-blood style, you uh, have a lot to work for. Yep, no block button, in, block button in this game. Pushing Hat learning fast though has blocked the last few mix-ups, but overwhelming pressure here from Ferox. Oop, no wall break. Oh, hair car. Hair car, right. yep. I think that uh, something that would benefit Pushing Hat a lot here is just throwing out more hitboxes. Because you can't be, you can't just block against Melia. You have to like actually start attacking. Let her run into your hitboxes. Yeah, and you saw that with a couple JKs. It's like all active frames trying to catch her in the air. Yep, it's definitely trying to challenge in the air now. Oh, war crime button. Oh, again. Pushing completely, uh, ignoring Geneva Convention. Oh, what is this juggle? What is this? Are we in Tekken? Oh, I'll try to so go for go. War I mean, Crime again. Oh. Throw out some attacks. They will land because at some point, as a melee player, your goal is to just be overly oppressive, and you're not going to block your skin and keep on pressing buttons. And Pushing Hat, it worked out for him that round. You can't let her get started. And Pushing Hat did exactly that that round. What I've seen with Ferox is that he definitely struggles a lot more on the defensive side of things. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> he knows he knows how to play his game and live his best life as Milia, but when he gets put on the back, he's not sure what to do. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh DP. Why reversal. worry about your defense when your attack is your defense? <laughs> Why would you have to block if you just put him into Oki and Oki again in the blender? Oh, but what side was that on? <laughs> I appreciate you uh, coming by this tournament. I uh, hope you had a good time. Uh... Excited to see you. I don't, I don't know. I just can't. I can't justifiably call you a beginner because, like, we can see the gears going in your head. Like, you had the fundamentals. I had zero, uh, zero confirms on Soul. That was, that was, that was the problem there. Yeah. So why Soul bad guy? Why not like Kai, who is like a traditional shoto? Um, legitimately, I was watching YouTube videos and I came across a Soul guy that I like, and I was like, yeah, sure, try it. No. Pushing Sometimes hat. that's what you gotta do. Pushing yeah. out picking a win there. 
just w pressing buttons. I mean, you yep. have to. Okay. Th again, yeah. that's what we're talking about, about being an intermediate player. Block. Blocking is <laughs> what's going to set you apart. Good defense. And and we're seeing Ferox, like, on the rounds he wins, it's overwhelming victories. But Pushing Hat playing Giovanna is a giant ball of hurt boxes. Yeah, Ooh, I think he's fun. not. Ferox needs to actually respect at least Good the job. character, if not, the, if not the player. Right. Oh, 6P whiffed. Another disc. What's it going to be? Oh, 6P. Oh, not today. Not today. War Crimes. War Crimes again. Another War Crimes. I knew it. This man just wants to just commit all the war crimes. That Roman? button is a problem. Roman? Oh, oh yeah, I just wanted him. I just want any of you to Roman cancel after a good confirm. 100 meter, though. A lot to work with. Frox is going to uphill battle at the moment. Oh, he missed his... Speedy. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Pushin is just going and just straight up hitting 2D on everyone's wake up. Every Peter. single time. Pushin is playing the it's okay if I forget to use meter character. Yeah. That is entirely fair. Giovanna is like KOF plus Makoto plus God, just buttons and speed. Uh, Bad Moon, unfortunately, Let's missing. Go, yeah. Speaking of uh, using Ooh, there you go. I am aware that Heavy Mob Cemetery is a bad move. That was purely for the funnies. I mean, you did land it. <laughs> you caught him on the concentrate, so. That one round. <gasps> the double overhead, the double air dash. Play Melty Blood, air footsies. Really is JH uh, hitting both sides. A yeah, little it's... bit more on the back foot than I thought he would be. Or Pushing Hat has just unlocked his Guilty Gear skills in the last or, 10 minutes. Or just decided to be like, I'm playing Geo, I'm gonna hit buttons. I did, Pushing Hat is obviously listening to twitch.tv slash XI when we said round one just throw out some attacks. Because Pushing is on the attack. Literal ball of hitboxes as he oh, takes game two. And Ferox is now... Uh, potentially going to get knocked out of his first match in the loser's bracket. Pushing is ruining my bracket prediction right now. <laughs> it's all going according to plan so far. More important than March Madness is getting he has to our seven-person bracket strive showcase bracket rate. Right? Here we go, game three. This is, uh... Wow, this is for winners finals? Ooh, good blocks. Block the double overhead, or double cross-up. Ooh, I can't believe that JH actually whiffed. Usually with Milia's, um JH hits both sides, pretty good range. Oh, the Ferox is getting extra grimy, getting that uh, ninja blender out. Ooh, good PRC. I, I don't know if it was necessary, but good PRC to get away from uh, Be safe, under, yeah. Yeah. yeah, from under pushing. He did have a pretty good uh, PRC as well for, uh, or sorry, red RC uh, to confirm into more damage. Oh, empty into low. Which way are you blocking? Oh, another hard knockdown. Oh, nope, decides to go safe. And hair car. And he had enough meter to do another 50. Uh, so that was in our round where Ferox mainly got to be in the attack. Didn't really have to worry about defense that round. But right. I'm thinking that if Pushing Hat gets rolling again, Ferox just yeah. needs to respect Geo's plus frames. And he'll right. be he'll be fine, right? I don't know if this is a character specific thing, or he's just not good at blocking against characters that are as plus as Geo. But you know, he has to adjust because he's in trouble technically. Here. Right. Well, the thing is with Geo, with characters like, especially with Geo, like you can go. She's very sticky. And the thing is, a lot of her tools that bring her closer are plus on block. Oh, good Miss burst Gold. eight. Oh, <gasps> gets mixed. Getting mixed. Is it gonna be? Oh, red RC. <gasps> nice wall for And that's Melia character privilege in that she has none of it because all yeah. of that work and it still didn't even match up. Wow, I can't believe that traded. Double Ooh. overhead. What's it gonna be? Oh, empty into low. Watch your feet. He said, not today, dear War Cry. No 2D for you. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, and it's very tough for people who aren't comfortable to block, especially against Giovanna, because against with Flip Kick and um, was it Spiral Arrow being plus on block, yeah, it can be tough, and if you're not ready to 6P both of those options, uh, yeah, combined with her uh, fast movement speed and everything is a her, uh, hitbox, yeah, that's just a big problem. Ooh! 2-2, two, two. Ferox was Pistrican Hat, winners, semifinals, here at our FGC Showcase Night, Guilty Gear Intermediates.
Gavin joined by Azure Halcyon and Iskin for the moment. Here we go. Winners finals on the line for both these players. Ooh, good pick up on the close slash. Hair car, nice. Oh. And and we were talking about how what Pushin had's win condition here is just attacking. And Ferox, like, I don't think Ferox is doing any worse, on, any better on defense. It's just pushing hats having a lot of trouble winning that first exchange to start his offense. I think Ferox is adjusting and making sure that he gets at least something, like, just getting one hit, especially from an air, air approach, <laughs> and then running train from that way, and then getting at least a disc in so he can actually do, you know, Cross up, if nothing, high low. If he never loses Oki, he doesn't have to worry about pushing that going to the exactly. attack. Exactly, exactly. Speaking of oh. which, here comes pushing on the attack. Another 2D. Oh, punishes it that oh. time. <gasps> Didn't punish 2D oh. that time. Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like that. I like that PRC, yep. Overhead. All this time, pushing is working on building that burst meter, which he'll need to survive this situation. Uh, there it burst. goes. Ferox trying to run away, but unfortunately, Desperate this character is past his front. Ooh, that close slash actually anti here that is insane. Oh, nothing. I thought it was going to be a disc or something. Major oh, Eats it. Next guest wins. It goes oh, to Ferox. That six, heavy three, slash two. just caught her. Extremely meaty. Wow. All the, All the frames. Heart pounding, heart breaking defeat for Pushing Hat there. Ferox survives 3 2 in the set. Holy crap. That was, uh... <laughs> yeah. That was Ferox's a set. answer. Ferox's answer is just mix harder. Just just KitchenAid, Max Blend, just crank that shit on Max. That wow. Was, uh... <laughs> wow. So here we go. Let's, we're getting right into the next match. Set on set. Keys versus Sofa. Yep. Here they go, winner semis round two. Winner of this match up. will meet Ferox and Grand. We were talking earlier about how Sofa has certainly been on the grind, is I think very close to that point where like he can start playing and learning against like mid-level tournament players and like start, you know, graduating from zero into an FTC brackets. Uh, and he's showing it there when early round win. Again, he took a note with, uh, yeah, I think he took a note seeing that uh, both Geo players have shown that uh, 2D is a very good button and taking a risk by doing a lot of 6Ks just to go over it. And it saw two times in the last game where it just kind of flew over uh, low buttons. Ooh, so that PRC was tricky. Just a wall break. Plus frames. Ooh. Ran into, uh, yep. one four K. Counters them. Yep. Ooh. Said, oh, you with your six P? I'm gonna run up and throw. Iskin, by the way, thank you for joining and uh, congrats, uh, congrats again on DNF. But thank you for joining this one. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in future FGC showcases. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Project L. Five years from now, this skin plays in Project L Beginners against Nactyl. Oh yeah, Nactyl was still... I, I finally broke through him and finally got him to play fighting games, you know, maybe about like a year or two ago. And now it's like, all right, well, it's all in the preparation for uh, Project L for him, so whatever gets people in, I guess. Meanwhile, in the match we have going on in front of us, Sofa takes round one here. Yes. This man has literally run up and thrown. Oh, the overhead Renga. Oh, it didn't get a confirmed. Hey, but as we that is... from the last match, just throw out some hitboxes. They'll work. Yeah. Blocking's overrated. Yeah. <laughs> this whole screen run up throw. Oh my god. It's like... It's like I'm watching, like, the two characters that I feel like can that can do that is... That's sorry, the three. It's Ooh, like, Rossi. Nago, nice. It's Nago so teleport, bad, Kai, uh, Kai DI, uh, run up throw, and then chip. Those are the three characters that can run full screen like that. Yeah, Sonom is definitely having like a, wait, that's my move moment. Yeah. Ooh. JD. Ooh. 
I like that air-to-air, uh, -air, smacking uh, set on keys back down. He's guessing correctly on a lot of uh, set on keys' options. Oh, I like that punish. Unfortunately, didn't confirm. Nice uh, 6 H into uh, any uh, counter hit. Didn't get anything from it. Uh, decided to uh, red RC to uh, confirm the Rekka. It is tighter now. Both Anji and um, Chip have lost their overhead bounces. But uh, we do get a little bit more... Um, you still get some combo ability on counter hits, but it is much tighter now. Oh, 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 oh. hit him with the hit him with the dust. You know, people don't even dust that much at like mid level play either, so it, it's an option. It's it's a good option. Universal it's a real overhead. option. Yep. Yep. Universal overhead. Watch your dog. Why not? Especially as a medium. Frame one yep. react. Sedan was showing some life uh, earlier, having a bit of trouble making it work this set. He's trying to hit him with normals and trying to like catch him, but Chip is pretty slippery. Especially a character with the uh, same thing with Milia with uh, a lot of air mobility. Oh, yeah. the call out on it's the about. spiral arrow. I mean... If Sofa is in a situation where he can just lay aggressively, throw out chip speed and hitboxes, he'll just do it. And yep. why not if you're playing chip? Yep. You're gonna die to two DPs anyway, so... <laughs> why? What? W key. <laughs> Very grounded game. I mean, we're not seeing much, like, instant air dash approach. We're just Ooh. kind of playing horizontally, back dash, get caught by super. Won't kill. Super's bad. Even with one break. Our knockdown though. Doesn't just walk up. Yeah. I, oh my god, he just wants to walk up there. I think he did he it wanted again. Wanted to do a dash input, but kind of just whiff the dash. Uh, That's dangerous. Next guess wins. Spiral arrow into plus. Shuriken. Oh! He did it. He just ran up and through again. Oh my gosh. Sofa tried to be like a little clever there. Just I'll drill kick down, do something fancy. No, nah. just, it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna run. Just gonna <laughs> run up throw. Yeah. Run up and throw. Go oh, not even run buttons. up throw. It's never failed me before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that that sets up our winners finals between Ferox and Sofa. And so, with that said, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our winners finals match now so we can have our losers bracket run up to grand finals. So let's inform our players of that. How do you feel about uh, our winner semis that we just ran? Pretty good. So, wow. Uh, <laughs> people are starting to feel it. I can already see them uh, <laughs> try to take this uh, definitely a lot more seriously. Then again, and, <laughs> we did just see an attempt at walk-up throw from the half-screen, so I don't know. work, excuse yeah. me. If anyone oh, no, the first it, time. it's Chip, right? Yeah, that's true. No, he, he he tried twice, and then he said, you just screw it, and then he ran up and threw it the, the last time. But yeah, the attempt was made. Yeah, only with Chip. All right, so I, I, I misspoke. We're gonna do our losers round. We're gonna do our losers round matches first. So we're going right. to take uh, what's it? We're gonna take set on and cleric first as we go into losers round two. They're getting set up in the room. It is uh, it's a seven man tournament, and there are nine of us who needs to be involved because me and Azure are both in the spectate. So. Ooh, set on keys has changed characters. Here we go. Testament versus Potemkin. Testament, I feel like, is a character that really uh, enjoys being the shit out of Potemkin, <laughs> like more than most. Uh, it's not as even, I would say. I've seen this matchup play up quite a lot. Uh, Flick. 
Flick is actually a very, very good tool in this matchup. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just imagine, like, me playing Leo trying to get in, just getting, like, Scythe oppressed by freaking 6H over yeah. and over and over again. I feel like Potemkin is like that even right. more. Testament, though, has to really watch out for, specifically just for Pod in this matchup, just because of Flick for both the ground blood projectile and the crow. Mm -hmm. And you can really, like, without setting up any kind of, like, uh, either the succubus out or getting the stain proc on them, like, it's hard to really, oh, and there's a stain proc, really hard to get uh, any kind of, like, serious momentum uh, with Testament. Testament does run a two-part game plan, and uh, if you can flick half of them away, it's a little bit problematic. That makes it looks sense. Looks like uh, Setong. Oh, gets caught by hammer. Oh, Setong so getting dead guesses, but it goes back to that eternal problem against Potemkin, where it doesn't matter how many guesses you get right if Potemkin only has to get half he gets as many right. right. Yeah, you know? not even half. Like a third. <laughs> yeah, two two wrong guesses. Oh. Sedan had earlier in the tournament played uh, Giovanna. We just yes. saw that in his match against Sofa. There's that teleport from uh, Testament, teleporting to the Succubus. I, I will mention that Sedan and Cleric are community members in Fushin Pass Discord. They've played plenty of sets against each other, so I feel like some of this is uh, the character switch is a lot of Sedan having fun. Sedan also went very far out of his way to uh, clarify that the rule is as all FTC tournaments, you can switch characters on loss, not on win. So I feel like the Testament is just a bit of fun learning the character, seeing how the matchup goes, and uh, the answer is the matchup goes like that. Uh, armoring through and uh, flicking away projectiles, yeah, that's uh, pretty rough. It is rough on uh, Testament too, unless you're really deep in blocking the projectile since it's like two hits, both on flicking it out and the projectile itself. A lot of single long hits on uh, Testament, but if you're armoring through with Potemkin, yeah, that, that's kind of a problem. Ooh. Number fall so good. Oh, <laughs> the throws. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> One of them will land eventually. Everyone has a plan until they're 6 h in the face. Oh, I try to tr try to. Uh, there's a multi, yeah. there's a multi, -hit. multi hit at the uh, end of it is the second hit right so yes it's not... basically when you flick it up when the projectile is made that is a hit and then the projectile itself as it's moving forward that's it would, the second it would hit. not have worked on the uh well no it would have worked with horizontal as well but anyway yes yeah like you have to be close enough for both of them for it to oh exe beast oh blocks it Eric is not Ooh, there it, there it goes on the so I don't keep getting a little bit lucky on the armor breaks here. <laughs> like, by all rights, uh, they shouldn't work. But here we go. Cleric takes game number two. Let's see if Sedan uh, switches characters or right. sticks it through a testament. Surprisingly not. Stuck it through? No, no flicks yet from uh, Cleric, but still doing fairly well. Just literally armoring through everything and yeah, charging like armor, forward. Armor wins out. 6H wins out. 5... or 5... Uh, I would still be a little cautious on the yeah. 6H just because it's, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a little tricky. Let's see if Sedan shows some life here as Sedan is on tournament life. We are in our losers quarters, losers round two. Ooh. Yeah, this character is no longer a war crime, no longer no longer invisible blood webs and uh, tree traps, so that'll, that'll be here in season four. Oh, Whenever please. character gets their uh rep Do you two. want one? Oh god. Uh, or their uh, plus R kits. Yep. Oh my lord. Can you imagine one frame of auto guards? Fakeable cancel ta uh, taunts. Sidanki tournament stock, tournament life, tournament round, cleric uh has a very honest chance to knock him out. Ooh, 2p, 2p. Yep. Give him the fingers. 
I will say that Testament 6P is definitely one of the better ones in the game, even though it doesn't cover quite as deep as other 6Ps to cover um, cross-ups. But it is pretty much a wall. Yeah, yeah it, it is a wall. Mm -hmm. You space it properly with all the rest of Testament's toolkit, they're pretty solid overall. Oh no, the hammer fall. Oh, the raid! He wanted the pop-up, he wanted the heavenly. What a way to end the round that would have been, but here we go. Oh. Still not out of the woods, Sun Q backdashing oh. out. Surprisingly, this, the close slash and punt did not catch the backdash. What's it gonna be? Oh, take a fist. Oh, that's gonna connect. Sadaki surviving to fight another day. Still one round away from being knocked out of this FGC showcase night. Ah, the 2Ds, the sweepers are coming back out again. The, I guess that's the theme for tonight. Oh, hammer. Oh, Mega Fist. And that's what I like about what Cleric's doing. Cleric is uh, a way more confident just throwing out these hitboxes, uh, kind of owning the space away from Duskin. Like, we haven't seen 5H or 5S really connect too, too often this set. Right. Like, oh, right that's 6 yep. h whiffing. Oh, bird? Is it gonna be? Ah, uh, and 6 Ps. Yep. Give him the hand. Set on keys. On board. See if that Confirm. momentum uh, carries carries through. Mankind knew that Ringing the bell for tea time. <laughs> so instead of... Dead on keys is like, you know what? No, no, no intro. I, I need the momentum. <laughs> like, I need hype. Ooh, oh, six P again, six P again. Mm -hmm. mm, the hand. The remote where Zah. teleport on top of the Temkin wins out. The handle. Oh. They're using bigger buttons. Ooh, good air coverage. Ah, uh, yep. And uh. Ooh. Teleport away. Oh, uh, I think that was a six H. Oh, and that's yep. What's Versa. the meaning? Yeah, correct. Got stain. Oh, that's it. Oh! I think he's teleporting. Oh! I saw it. Think... Oh! Gold burst. Okay, one out for next round. Ooh, safe. I wonder if, uh... Cleric's been definitely using, like, a bunch of slashes, far slashes, six ages, but... <laughs> I've not seen him... seen them try to 6P the, uh... The far slashes, because most linear buttons can be uh, six feet away. Oh no, and that's a stain state. Yep, extra hit. Then hammerfall. Uh, bird uh, does hit the armor, but I'm slow. Goes so away I'm probably trying to press a button. Didn't work out. Anti airs being on point with set on keys. Woo! Proc sustain state. Another fireball setting it up. Oh, try to uh, do something. Oh, reversal again. Oh, just in time. Oh. Uh. All right, back on tournament point. Uh, tournament life for Sedan Keys. It seems that Sedan really does kind of have control of the match up until Hammerfall, up until... Uh, yeah, one good reason for Cleric yeah. to blow through, right? Like that. It, it does take quite a bit of startup for any of the longer specials to kind of maintain the spacing. And that again is that whole idea of defense versus strong offenses, right? Like, you've got the spacing, you've got like the tools to keep the Temkin honest, but... Ooh, the such as that, right? Yeah. But if you don't know how to like defensively Ooh. handle Hammerfall... Oh, that was, a, that, was a, that was a command grab. Oh! No TG. Let's slam. Oh, the whiff grab! Terrifying situation for Sun oh. Keys! <laughs> and Cleric takes it to survive Losers Round 2. One and one in the tournament, and he'll move on to Losers Round 3. Set on Keys out. Congratulations to Cleric, and congrat and uh, thank you to Set on Keys for uh, joining our showcase tonight. So, how do you feel about that? Uh, what about what we just watched, Azure? That was definitely is it was, it was definitely a little bit of a scramble fest at the very end when both players are whiffing their grabs. But overall, yeah, set on keys when he when they were just maintaining the spacing with Testament, uh, getting a lot of good reads when the pot player was um, kind of jumping and getting it with crows. 
it was all good. Just needed to be a little bit aware that at any point the hammer fall was coming from full screen away. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe a little bit more uh, coverage with uh, being a little safer with buttons or even maybe hard reading with a projectile to hit the double hit to get past it. Again, a little spooky, but definitely an option. So but, this is uh, a match that I'm pretty excited for. A yeah. schoolgirl crush versus pushing hat. Both of these players have been showing excellent gameplay so far this tournament. Pushing hat uh, having a very, very, very close set against Ferox, tournament favorite, and schoolgirl crush showing us what uh, learning and aggressive and fun having chaos looks like just like that. Goomba song. Oh, one more bullet. Oh no! Try to reload. Yeah, I'm noticing a thing with crush is that every time. Crush is cornered, immediately IADs out. Just jump IADs out. And then if they're like along the way, might opt to do a Goomba Stomp. And it still carries the momentum. Mm -hmm. But you can really see it with Crush that he does not want to be in the corner. Like and, and at the all. Thing, I, I feel like we you know we mentioned how he was doing very well with resource management earlier in the set, right? But and, and and he is, he's doing really well with his tension, he's doing really well with concentration. The one thing that seems to be missing is reload timing and finding those optimal combos that lead to reloads. Right, juggle and be teamed with one of the other resources. But yeah, it seems to be uh, getting more of the uh, the concentration, but yep, sp you seem spending the meter there to get it. But yeah, it really does seem like he prioritizes concentration over uh, bullets, so yeah. Um, and I think yeah. that one also thing to note is that Pushing played a lot of Guilty Gear on launch early season one. I don't know if Pushing has had that many matches against Happy Chaos. So this is once again against Happy Chaos, a matter of matchup familiarity Ooh. versus uh, new player. And there's a red RC to confirm and nice. Yeah, seems like, yeah, Pushing definitely recognizes I gotta get in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my rocket skates. Rubro going in. Hit buttons. And, and Pushing Hat winning that one represents that, you know, practice and fundamentals win over the weird matchup against the beginner, right? At least for that set. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you see the speed of just like, uh, just dashes with Geo and then just doing like 5k immediately after. It covers so much space. You can catch a lot of characters if they're not uh, watching for it. Yep, and my, that is my, plus. Uh, my, my, uh, my what's called my producer in my earpiece in our professional studio here with Azure Halcyon is uh, telling me that Pushing actually had played Happy Chaos for a while. So uh. he, he does have the, uh, they do have the, Matt, they do know what Happy Chaos does. Yeah, it's a little hard to not figure out uh, seeing he's pretty prevalent on the, on the big screen nowadays. Can't go to a tournament without seeing at least a couple Happy Chaos players uh, running around shooting everything. Next up is Evo, and that's uh, post patch. Oh. No. Oh God. Yes, yes, it is post patch, right? <laughs> it is post patch. CEO, yes. CEO was played pre patch, right? Yes, yeah, CEO's pre pre patch. So this Evo is will be the first post patch major with Happy Chaos. Yes, I hope that my experience with Giga Itachi is going to be enough to carry me through, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. I know I'm going to get shot. <laughs> Give me a shout out to uh, the DMV's best Happy Chaos. Mid-Atlantic, shout out to Zadu. That's Zadu. Ooh, good dodge out of the uh, flip kick. Don't want to be in the plus frames. Ooh, confirm. Has a meter for it. Nope. Let's see if First. he pays for that Ooh. mistake. Should for the reload, but unfortunately that wasn't going to be enough time. And more. Schoolgirl Crush is on the just on the verge of winning this. It's just like one fatal decision to match, but that's all that Giovanna needs. Because once you are once you make that fatal mistake, a bad reload, a misconfirm, and you're put in the corner, it takes so much work to get out. Yeah, the onus is really on the Happy Chaos player in this matchup, I feel like, because the weakness is really pretty much like once you get an opening with Chaos, you really have to make sure he doesn't get the turn back. Otherwise, you're fighting through an entire screen of uh, bullets again. And Ooh. Geo, being Geo, Ooh, we have these dust combos. Let's go. First, uh, uh, first full dust confirm of the night. Oh, does, it again? does it again? Please, please, Pusheen. Pusheen hat pulling his best Justin Wong impression. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today, boy. Yeah, especially with a character like Geo, like all all you need being a one. Oh, backdash to dodge the, the punch to just get in. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the it's on Crush's hands to make sure that uh match is gonna go the way as intended, I feel like, in this, uh, at least in these interactions. 
Ooh, wow, brave. That is plus. Blocking flip kick, plus. Side to mash 2k. Yeah, the corner, there he goes. Dash him yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, does not want to be in the corner, especially against the... Uh... Ooh, just in the face of danger, does not care. I have not seen a lot of... Like, slow frame trap style pressure from Crush just yet with 5k, 6k gunshot. One bullet confirms. He should block this. Yep. Will he punish? Oh, kind of. oh no, he's out of concentration. He's out of burst too, so he has to win here. This is oh, tournament life. Hail Mary, and I think that catches. Oh, the blue RC! That's so good. Oh. And that's gonna win Pushin half the round, maybe? Over the guns. Oh, oh 6k. Eat the foot. Crush survives that round, but what a Sweet. smart BRC. Sweep the feet. Uh, there we go. Six Black Heavens guns right there. And, and, and I think that all of this is coming down to the fact that Crush has the has the combos, has the routes, doesn't have the neutral. He's scrambling and neutral, and that's where most of his combos are falling apart, right? Finding the right, right time to reload, finding the right time to gain concentration. But Pushing Hat doesn't really have as much to think about in that regard. Right, the window of error definitely a lot smaller for, um, or a lot larger. They can afford to definitely do a lot more. But yeah, you're right. Like um, with Crush, yeah, you can see that with not feeling comfortable. Oh, oh unfortunately, it did not catch him. This is tournament um, life for Crush. Oh, oh, oh there's a red RC. That is it gonna burst? Burst. Ooh. Not much room for error here, oh. and there it goes. Kushina finishes it three zero. Amazing set by Pushing Hat, and he will move on to our loser semis fighting Cleric. Azure, I don't know, my heart can't take much more of this. So, that was a that was a good showing. <laughs> I was pretty hype. Yeah, the I think you're right. Like being a little uncomfortable, uh, and at most opportunities, just wanting the IED and jump out of the corner. Yeah, it's uh, definitely spooky. Um, but yeah, just gotta. Like you said, you gotta learn how to block, I guess. Okay. Even against Geo. So with that, we are going to take a small break, uh, give everyone a chance to stretch a little bit, take whatever breaks they need to before we come up to our uh, set of finals. So next up, we have Ferox versus Sofa in winter finals, and then we're gonna crawl up the loser's bracket till we crown a winner. So still left in the tournament, Ferox, Sofa, First level cleric and school and uh, excuse me, pushing hat. Uh, and thank you to everyone else who joined as well. Set on keys, schoolgirl crush, and Iskin. Thank you so much for joining our invitational so far. We are going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a little bit. Azure, anything you want to close out with as we uh, take a small break? Can't wait for the second half. Can't wait for the second half. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, hello, hello. We are back with our Guilty Gear Strife Intermediates FGC Showcase. You're joining me on twitch.tv slash GavinXI, and I am GavinXI, joined by Azure Halcyon. How are you, Azure Halcyon? Hello, hello. Doing well. We've had a great tournament so far. Said goodbye to a few of our players, but are about to say hello to our winner's finals between Ferox and Sofa. And, you know, I'll give a shout out. If you're in the Discord right now, uh, you're probably just living and breathing Strive, and apparently another lobby went up because people in the Discord just want to play Strive now because uh, this tournament has hyped them up a little bit. You were uh, just you were just hanging out with them, Azure. Uh, give me give me word on the ground. Give give me I, your report. I uh, totally did not egg them on to basically continue playing. I had no responsibility in that. None whatsoever. Absolutely none, none whatsoever. Absolutely none. No. Wash my hands of that. Set on key, schoolgirl crush. If you want to play with a few of these people in our community, join our community. Exclamation mark Discord. Links in chat. Uh, fighting games of all sort, variety games of all sort across the stream. But with a penchant for competitive games, with a penchant for fighting games. Uh, a lot of people from all skill level because the community is uh, broadly a variety game community. So a lot of people get into fighting games from uh, different points of their career. Not to say that if you uh, at people in the fighting games in this channel and scream fight me, uh, most likely somebody will answer that call. So um, just, yeah, it's great. So as I said, we are lining up our winners 
uh, our winner's finals match. This is between Ferox and Sofa. Um, our tournament favorite and our tournament second favorite, I guess, runner-up. Tournament, f our favorite for runner-up. So here we go. Uh, our, the tournament organizer seated the tournament correctly, at least for this. As Ferox and Sofa go ahead and start their match. Here we go. Milia versus Chip. Both of these players having strong oh showings so far in this tournament. What are your thoughts as we get started off with winners finals, Azure Halcyon? This is a matchup of two fast ass characters that bleed. Alright, pretty much uh, who gets who gets first touched and who can run their game plan uh, faster. It looks like Ferox gets Ferox gets the first hit and we get an early burst. Ooh. Oh my god, the damage. I keep forgetting Chip's life is pretty much non-existent. And, and as I mentioned, Sofa is working really hard to get better fast, and he has done so. I don't oh, know if Milia yeah. is a part of many people's training regimens. That is true. But as you said today, like as Justin Wong once said, you're gonna learn today, boy. It's really going to be, is Sofa gonna learn how to block Milia before Ferox wins? Yeah. Oh, right off the row. Another disc. It's gonna be all oh, the burst bait and that. Oh, Jade uh, Wolbert. It's gonna be. Oh, I think Fine. he was going for a gamma blade. Yeah, yeah I think he was going or, for a gamma blade. Uh, super. He was doing raw super. Uh, no, because he's. I think he's doing gamma blade. I saw the hands. Anyways, yeah, I saw the hands. Either way, didn't he threw out something. Out. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to go for an air grab. Yeah, he's going. He's trying to meet Ferox in the air. Mm -hmm. Which had worked for Sofa's previous games, throwing out Raw Super's Raw Gamma Blade. Uh, Ferox, uh, a little too fast for it. Ooh, great Ooh, delay throw. Good awareness of throwing it. Flower is now buffed. I don't want to be on the ground. The ground is lava. Good block. Another air. Ooh, 2k catching the toes. And Dropped it at the last second. Yep. And, yep. Red RC confirming to the kill. Yeah. Ferox, uh, taking this set pretty seriously, was not content, uh, not happy with his performance in his winner semi match against Pushing Hat. A little too close for comfort. He's, he's pulled out, he's uh, activated the shard. Another down. burst, another burst bait. Ooh, the first DP coming from Chip. That is risky. And I think, I think Sofa right has like a great chance of winning this. Sofa just needs to, again, get out of the blender. Is, uh -huh. That's exactly what we talked about with the set against uh, Pushing Hat. Sofa just needs to get started. Ferox never needs to give up Oki. Screw. Oh, I thought that was going to be safe. It's not going to kill. It's going to get really close. Next guess wins. Both of, oh, nope. oh, oh, okay. mind, both, of these, both of these characters bleed. You breathe on them, they explode. I was so confident that no, Ferox was here. going to survive that. Fragile characters. So this would be a very, very important set for Sofa to win. He's down 1-0. 2-0, much harder to come back from, from 1-1. Right. Oh, run up throw, the classic. Sofa special. <gasps> run up, meaty, burst, meaty 5D. Oh, oh, it's got burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Punishes Punish. successfully. Ooh, Optimal combo to wall. Yep. Oh, no, uh, no. Oh, yeah, no Rekka. Oh, caught Ferox doing something. Not a lot of damage, but that's fine. Let's see what the option is. Yep. Ooh, 5H did not connect. Hair car. Ooh, close slash to pick it up. That is a amazing anti-air. Wish I had that. Very, uh, very aware PRC. Very mindful. Yeah, good RC usage from both players. Both to make safe and also uh, confirm the damage. Oh, disc. But we saw, we saw that round Ferox certainly bled. And again, it's exactly what we said. It's, if, 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 if Sofa can figure out how to block Milia, he has a, yep. you know... Much better time, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll try to get a 5D. I don't know if that was intentional. Good block on the projectile. Ooh, run up throw again, the Sofa special. Let's go, full screen. Oh, wow, dude. Can we get meter? Jump H whiffed. Wait, also whiffing. <gasps> Uh, oh, try to go for the sofa special one more time and got mixed. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of the run up throws. It's just so fast from Jim. on grand final point. Oh, that's like the third empty, uh, empty low again. 
You know, this works both ways, ways though. If, if Sofa can just start Oki against Ferox... Right, yeah, it's whoever gets the first hit can run their train, but it looks like Ferox has been getting uh, getting the first hit in a lot of these interactions, and they're running into... Oh! Oh, oh and it trades! And wow, a clean 3-0 from Ferox as he progresses on to Grand Finals. That sends Sofa to Losers Finals, where he will meet the winner of our next match, uh, Cleric versus Pushing Hat. But strong, much stronger showing from Ferox than uh, in his previous game uh, against Pushing Hat. So Pushing Hat probably in the back, just thinking like, man, I, I I've made uh, I, I made Ferox bleed, and if I can make Ferox bleed, then you know maybe I have a chance against Sofa. But first, he has to get through Cleric gotta get through uh the big boy the big body how many how many pop busters can you take before you take the l <laughs> this uh this is a definitely an interesting one like million cuts versus uh three big scoops what do you think about this one i think that uh first level cleric has gotten progressively better over the course of this tournament uh, getting a bit more confident just with throwing out the big I mean okay 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 so 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 cleric has been doing better just on his version of Potemkin spacing throwing out good buttons big buttons not wasting any buttons right right and it's been making every player against cleric play around him like do you know how to block do you know how to space properly do you know how to approach a character like heavy like Potemkin who are you going to win before Potemkin gets enough correct guesses Right. And the big thing is also, like, Cleric also getting straight hits off on the big dick buttons. Um, yeah, and this kind of showcases, are the, are the players aware mm -hmm. that, you know, you have to, you know, FD block to break your momentum? Otherwise, that, you know, when you run forward, if you don't do that, there's a window of uh, where you can get hit. Looks like he's been getting a lot of hits on that, especially with people trying to approach. But yeah, it looks like um, Pushing Hat is very aware of this and just kind of gets in and serves. And, a lot of buttons. And I'll mention, if you look at the bracket, this is uh, a run back. This is a, a rematch of winner's round one. Pushing Hat yep. took it 3-1. Mm -hmm. Pushing Hat so far showing a strong showing. Content to whittle away Cleric a little bit at a time. Five guts, it's the only thing you can do. Ooh, Aegis Reflector. Oh, his worst enemy. Gets around it that time, doesn't oh, get punished either. Oh, did Gets not, in. did not stick his face in it. Pushing Hat has leveled up, everybody. Ooh! But back in the corner. Cleric has to be able to confer. Oh my god, how many Mega Fists? He forced to block. Yeah, it's bur Cleric has burst. Ooh. Doesn't need to use it. Big, big button, yeah. Cleric, if he uh, just is able to confirm into literally any of the specials, maybe not Hammerfall since it's a since it's a charge move, but at least flick to confirm for a little, that extra little damage uh, after far slash heavy slash. Oh wow, Hammerfall turn. <laughs> yes, it only it only auto corrects when you actually hit it in the armor. If you don't, it'll whiff. Yeah, it's it's a couple games that coded that way. Uh, actually, it coded that way in Plus R2 with uh, Anji. If you um, hit his auto guard when he's kind of like doing the Fujin follow up, if you cross him up, Fujin really had me a lot of trouble, by the way, handling Mega Fist here. Which yeah. means I want to see more of it from Cleric. Cleric has 100 meter. Are we going to see Reflector? Ooh. We need to see Reflector soon. He's about to yeah. run out of opportunities. Yep. Remember that Good we still have. No wall. Yellow, maybe yellow RC. Oh no, 2D. Sorry, <gasps> oh, we didn't land it. But didn't it's land safe. it. That was the right idea. Oh no. Oh my god. That was uh, exactly what you said. The right idea, barely the wrong timing. It's pushing that thing around. Delayed a little bit more. Yeah, the jump arc from Geo is, is a little too tight, especially with her fast IED speeds. And, and you know, he had a hundred meter, so it could have been Igus Reflector into Potemkin Buster. That is true. That is that is true. I haven't seen Cleric done that yet. We've seen we've seen plenty of people try to jump the Aegis Reflector, but um Oh, oh no, okay first. Oh boy. Ooh, that close last surprisingly anti aired We 
Sage Magic in this uh, first round in decisive fashion. That's gonna not uh, kill. Uh, kind of kill really yeah. Against any art character, what up? Oh, yeah, sure. Era. Yeah. We haven't seen anyone uh, quite challenge it with 6P just yet. Cleric had a really strong first game. He needs to replicate that success. Ooh, hammerfall. And that's a good start to it, yep. Good backdash. Yep, I'm ooh, really, nice. I, I do really think that a lot of this set is up to Cleric learning how to adapt as opposed right. to pushing. He's definitely keeping the spacing very well, avoiding a lot of the problem pitfalls, but now he's in the corner, so let's see uh, what he can do to get out. Super? Yep, so hard yep. knockdown. Hard knockdown. Let's have burst. Oh, it's burst, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, reflector, yep. yep. Has 50 meter. Oh, oh didn't, didn't even matter. eat it. 6H. So that confident. was true. That was true. Yep. The, who cares about scaling? Just just murder. Just murder around, right? Very important set, just like we saw in our last set. Uh, Cleric versus pushing out here. Cleric is down one game. You'd much prefer going 1-1 one, one in the game 3 than 0-2. Uh, yeah, I see what Cleric is doing. He's definitely uh, poking on what he assumes is going to be approach. He knows that Pushing wants to get in. Six out Zahando. Give him the slap. Oh, burst. Oh. Ooh, would have liked to see a super there for the hard knockdown. So now we're going to play a guessing game here. Got to take a lot more to actually finish uh, off Cleric here. Is that going to uh, do it? Yeah, that's going to do it. He's got meter for. Uh, oh, Pick no, Robin. the drop! Come to his curse. Ah, the war crime. See, and, and, and one thing we're seeing is, uh, and I, I've kind of noticed this throughout our tournament tonight, we haven't seen much use of 100 meter. We've seen plenty of creative use, uh, especially at this half of the tournament, of 50 tension, 50 meter. Some great BRC escapes, some great finishers, great wall combos. But we haven't seen many players leverage having 100 meter. Yeah, I think they comment earlier. Super. Yeah, 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 like they comment on optimization again. Just like they're they're starting to get the feel for it, but they quite haven't explored like everything just yet to really squeeze out um, everything they got. Right, you know your meter combos, but do you know your two meter combos, right? Yes. That puts the set count at two zero. Apologies if uh, that scoreboard was not up for the majority of that match, but that is two zero for Pushing Hat tournament life on the line for first level cleric here in our loser semi-final set. Reflector, gonna force the block. Oh, the dust! Watch your head! Oh, goes to the burst. Oh, 6H, not today. I raise your spiral arrow and put a giant fist in the way for you to run into. That's in, 2D Warframe. Yep, beats the uh, 2S from Pot. Camouflage on this stage, by the way. Yep, that is true. No uh, Dust Wisp to uh, see the hitbox. Ooh. Okay, so that, that worked out. Use of meter to get the wall combo. Little sketchy, but yeah. Oh, butt slam, can't punish that. A reflector. Oh, oh. Sending me into oh. Dust to wall break. Nice. Be. oh, that was a hard down from the... Oh, yep. Safety right, FDs. Down. Yep, FDs. Nice. Punish it. Uh, oh. and, See, that that's, and, and that's finally is like well, the, the biggest thing when it comes to uh, like having optimal combos is how do you punish a raw miss super? You're given a free right. opponent. They're standing still. What do you do to them? Yeah. Getting him the hands. Oh no. Bar slash. Catching. Super active. Three hits. Ooh. Ooh. First wire save the night. Yep. Ooh. I've uh, only recently started really incorporating YRC into my gameplay. Oh, really? Strong option. Very strong option. Yeah. 
this could be it if Pushing doesn't drop it. But oh, we've seen him. We've seen him drop that exact same combo the exact same way. That's true. Oh, no burst. But Pushing Hat survives that air and moves on to losers finals against Sofa. So we'll see that match immediately next. Pushing Hat playing around to Potemkin. Oh wait, I thought. Wait, I thought that was three zero. I thought that was 3-0 as well. I think that is 3-0. It's 3-0. Oh, yeah. Yep. It, okay. So, so yeah, that's, that's it. Yep, my BI mesh, Almeo. Oh, I think they actually do have to, like, someone has to actually win. <laughs> I'm not sure. Can we just back out? We can just back out. Return to room. <laughs> that's, that's funny. How the heck do we get out of here? Our players are saying in our invitational chat here. We'll let them figure that out. They're stuck in their purgatory. It's fine. They'll uh, figure it yeah, out. Yeah, it just gives us time to talk. As uh, <laughs> Pushing Hat presses buttons a little bit too well and finds himself in a <laughs> in an extreme Game 4 situation. Uh, but no. So winner of that, Pushing Hat's going to take on Sofa immediately after they figure out how to get out of this mess. Uh, so that, may, that makes our top three Ferox, Sofa, and Pushing. And Pushing Hat has decided to leave the room in order to escape uh, this Guilty purgatory. Yeah. Purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely fair. So, let's see here. We have our next set coming up here. Sofa versus Pushing Hat. What are you thinking? These two have not met yet in the tournament. Hmm. We have Sofa's chip against Pushing's Giovanna. Oh no. Could. Uh... Hmm. I guess it really, like, depends on, like. Uh, the big thing being, like, defense. You know? It's one thing to be, like, comfortable with your game plan and offense and, like, kind of running it. Mm -hmm. The big thing is being able to defend. And then when you get called out for your. Like, something in your normal game plan that doesn't. Like, it gets called out and they know where the holes are and they just call you out on it. Like,. Do you have another plan to adapt? And also on the person who's like calling you out, how consistent are they at poking the hole in their game plan, you know? Right. So I guess in this case, since it feel at this point now, like um, the remaining people definitely have a good grasp of what their characters want to do. But now it's like, okay, adaptation and defense time. Like it's not just focusing me on my character. It's, oh God, okay. I have to know like where the holes are for, let's say Geo when they're doing, you know, far slash. And then do they try to go for a frame trap with two and four K or do they try to take their turn back, um, uh, with either flip kick or spiral arrow being plus on block and then knowing to answer that appropriately. Correct. So it's going to see, uh, I guess now more of that come into play, uh, seeing what the players can do, um, to answer their, um, Respective matchups. All right, so here we go. Pushing Hat has made their way back as we have our losers finals between Sofa and Pushing Hat. Here we go. Duel one. A matchup we haven't seen yet in this tournament. It is a, a seven-person invitational, so. You know, we're going to have a lot of run back matches here. Oh, the, sofa, the other sofa special run up and uh, 5D. Really? I mean, I almost want to give Pushing Hat the exact same advice we gave him against Ferox. Throw out hitboxes, let uh, Sofa run into them. Uh, I would slightly caution against that, especially with characters like Chip and Milia. Just because the amount of like air mobility that they have and the fact that if you kind of whiff anything from uh geo especially her like slash the multi-hit moves essentially like they take a little it while on whiff for them to recover yeah i mean i guess i guess that's like general versus chip versus melia advice but i'm i think i think in this specific situation we're not seeing that much airplay especially from sofa sofa staying right. relatively grounded right because most yeah. chip players you'll see you're you're spending a lot of time drop uh blocking drill yeah, that's true. 2k, and that is the nerf version too, considering what it was before, and thank god, but yeah. Ooh, empty low, I like it. Oh, he just knows, he just knows. 
gonna get the wall break and get some meter. Not a lot of damage, but he gets a hard knockdown. Hard knockdown does my argue get the meter just needs to survive a combo. Oh, that is two. not safe. Oh, nice. Good RC. Very well for meter. He got the meter for it in that last hit. Yep. Oh, gets the command throw. Is this gonna be it? Yep. It is it. Gets a lot scooped. of damage on the command grab scoop. Yep. That Hagen Das ice cream. Comeback round for Mr. President so far himself. Oh, that was gonna be another so uh, run up grab. Yeah. He's I like it that. Up, run up yeah. other things. Oh, I tried to go for another cheeky 5D. More from Bushin have to just mash 5, uh, 5D there. Oh, he's using more of the Rekka. And I do like it. Ooh, again, run up throw. Ooh, be patient. Oh, is this gonna catch it? Oh, no. But I do like the idea. Yeah. Pushing does have a burst for after this. That is true. So, you get a wall down, though, super. Oh, run up the rope. Not enough meter. Enough meter probably Tricking. was RC. <gasps> Again, he's the god. this man is playing a grappler. He's, he's just so, a fast grappler. <laughs> he's so brave. <laughs> One of the bravest a, players I know. <laughs> an R Mika player in uh, a distant life. Bro, oh, God. Who needs who needs a uh, strike throw? Just throw. Yeah, run up throw. <laughs> run up back dash. Run up throw. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you see Fushin uh, running train a little bit, seeing the game plan. There's that 2k we talked about from Chip. Oh, and the Rekka. pressure. Ooh. Against most players, that probably would have landed. <laughs> yeah. Fushin had uh, playing a bit more defensively, and it's going a long way for him. Yep, decided to chicken block there at the right time. Ooh, I'm surprised that 5k actually anti-eared. It's usually pretty linear. Staggers. Oh. Whiffs. Oh my god, what is happening? That's gonna catch, yeah. High damage super from Chip. Yep. But pushing will survive it. One guess. Oh, he tried to go for it. He's failing himself. He's alive. He's alive. That much. He's alive. He's alive. Goes through 2k. Oh, he tries to mash out of it, but no, that is a. That is. I think in uh, Tekken, that's uh, called a scrub killer. And then being careful for that last hit from, uh, last hit confirmed from Pushin. Yeah. They even it up, 1-1. One, one. Ooh, gold burst. Goes for the... I respect the... Oh, no punish. But runs up grabs anyways. 2k. Into a beta blade. I mean, wow, I don't know about you. I don't know how to punish that super from Chip. Uh... I just... I just Pushin. No, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Big cross up. Oh, I think he was trying to do his super. Oh, oh, nice good wire C. Yep. Good wire C. Get off me. Oh, nice blocks on the Rekka. Oh, did get a full confirm punish on it, but that's, that's okay. <gasps> the back dash. So if it doesn't have meter, it's going to be an uphill battle. 2k, it doesn't matter, he's got 2k. Got he has meter now. <gasps> oh! Oh, she did Hard mash. She did mash the 2k, but it is just the 2k from Geo. Rocket skates, so, man. Yeah, rocket skates. It's so those, hard those to feet. punish that super feature. Those, those feet. <gasps> Six feet, my fist. Eat it. Eat the hunt, though. Oh, flip kick. Oh, decided to go with the beta blade. This is not today. Another throw. Both feeling it out. Ah, the 6k, uh, 6h. Uh, oh, my burst. <gasps> Pushing hat actually throwing. Oh, oh wow, back dash. the back dash. Yeah, Pushing hat is definitely uh, wising. Oh, no! <laughs> Getting more grabs in. <gasps> that was a missed input. Oh, no. That had to be a missed input. But, that is but like. Very and, and Sofa is showing so much spirit and so much strength, but at the last minute, like he's he becomes like he goes Super Saiyan, but at ten percent health, yeah. every single round. That's the life of a chip player, I guess. Ooh. Crash on the scoreboard. That is pushing hat up to one here. Sofa on tournament life. Pushing hat, trying to find get his bid in the grand finals to meet Ferox Ooh. once again. I do like Pushing Hat's 5k uh, run cancel here in this uh, latest patch of Strizzle. Not many, not many, not many people I see uh, 
do that, especially from Geo, but then again. Oop, good blocks. Oh, no punish. And that would be it. Round. The aspiration mode is something every chip knows. It's it's a lifestyle. <laughs> There's a real argument to be made about having the meter later on in the match, whatnot, whatnot, but really I just think Sofa gets, like, much braver than this set goes on. It's true. He's, He's gonna need this, man, now. This, this man is willing to trade. Here's where it matters. Ooh, I like the idea. Punch? Nope. Oh, there's that 5k uh, uh, cancel. Oh, burst bait! Oh. I don't know if it was a burst bait as much as just a whiff, but it doesn't really matter as Pushing takes the set 3-1. We find our grand final set, Ferox versus Pushing Hat. Sofa, thank you so much for joining this tournament and showing uh, very, very, giving us a fun time as you uh, take third place in this tournament. Ferox and Pushing Hat. What are we expecting here, Azure Halcyon? I have no idea. Just pretty much if I guess both both characters have a very similar feel. Not quite the same tools, but definitely first sit into running their game plan of like, uh, well, either I'm going to be dying pl <laughs> blocking plus frames from kicks everywhere and committing war crimes with 2D, or you know, I have to block disc. Is it going to be Cross up, cross, not cross up, empty low, uh, run up throw, like it could be anything. So, and then running train from both of those characters because they can essentially loop either of their uh, scenarios to just, you know, go over through again and again. And, so, and I want to emphasize if you take a look at the bracket, who gave Ferox the most trouble in this tournament so far? That is, that is true. It was, uh, it was Pushing Hat. Let's see if there's any, any adaptations. Pushing hat. Ooh, I mean, that one thing. One thing about these intermediate tournaments, when you haven't played guilty here in a while, you get a lot better between the beginning of the tournament and the end of the tournament. Pushing hat Chick had an extra game to play through. Let's see if uh, let's see if it matters. Yep, there's a burst from Ferox. Doesn't want to deal with that. Oh no, plus frames. Oh. Oh, frame trap 2D. Yep. Ooh, another burst from Pushing Hat. For those of you who are tuning in just as guests here, this is Grand Finals and Double Elimination Bracket, so Pushing Hat will need to win two sets. Frax only needs to win one, and he starts that journey with a quick round win against Pushing Hat. Good red RC from uh, Ferox to confirm for the kill. <gasps> Not sure if the Miraz was actually uh, avoiding the, the 6P, but it looks cool anyways. Oh, the bad one did not time, yeah, over. we've yeah. Uh, seen that misconfirm. Uh, soft reset from the close slash. Oh, oh, sleeping. Pushing head did not punish the uh, hair car. No button. Uh, uh, is that? Uh, yep. Oh, that was missed space. Ferrex didn't uh, quite get the punish. Oh, and just gets the JH anyways. Gets, gets the win, so good enough. And Ferox, uh, again, eager to not repeat his first round performance against Pushing Hat, taking a decisive 2-0. Uh, doesn't want to block. Win, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real. <laughs> I don't want to block. I don't want to block. I just want to press buttons. We play fighting games to press buttons, not press one button. We don't play I didn't pay, pay, yeah. <laughs> didn't pay did, $60 to block. Yeah, didn't pay $60 to hold down back. Oh, brave. And, 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 and Ferox really does just, like, pick better round start neutral options, and it sets the whole tone for the whole match, right? Right. Well, both of these characters definitely do run off of momentum highs, so, uh, that's, uh... And that's why neutral is so important. Yep. Who gets, it, who gets that momentum high first, right? Ooh, double cross-up. Oh, there's unfortunately a drop. Ooh! Same side. Double cross-up again. <gasps> To get hit in the almost, face. almost getting a maybe expecting a being a little bit more cautious, but apparently did not uh, respect that he just mashed. Pushing hat Definitely. on the board. Yep. Pushing showing that he's not super scared of Ferox when it does matter and counts, and he's <laughs> been right when it, uh, 
does really matter. Yeah, playing playing the game plan, right? Stay in yeah. her face, keep good Oki, don't let her don't let her get started. Unfortunately, Ferox is a great player as well, and when he gets started, Ferox has, oh, yeah. have, has the ability to stay on just Pushing Run Hand. train, right. More 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 for Pushing Hand on, on the defense, like mashing up Ari though. That's like what I've been noticing. He's been willing to show that yes, I am gonna hit buttons. Ooh, oh, first. side swap. That's the second time we've seen that specific Ooh, unfortunately ran into JJS. Oh, there's a burst from Pushin Hat. Both characters are just flailing around, flying around the screen. <gasps> this is I gonna be... No, oh. okay, yeah, too high. Didn't work. Even yeah. on block, that still won a pop disc uh, yeah. pre-patch, of course. This disc is still... Ooh! The TK fast fall. Ferox was in a lot of danger of that set going one and one, but right. man just to survive. Oh, both players showing that they're going to go Abare. Oh, Mashing good on Miss from uh, Ferox that led to that. Yeah, <gasps> that was good for Ferox. He called out Pushing Hat's uh, 5k dash cancel run. So the first, I think, attempt. Oh, the 5d. You know what I'm glad that me as a Leo player has watching Ferox's Melia? A meterless reversal. That is true. It is nice, but it is charged though. So getting getting oh, crossed up. Burst. Oh, almost missed punish, but Ferox does clean it up and is on tournament point 2-0 up against Pushing Hat. Pushing Hat took two games earlier in their first encounter in the winners bracket. Uh, so let's see if he can replicate some of that magic from earlier in the tournament. But we mentioned that Ferox, or we mentioned, excuse me, that Pushing Hat has had time to get better in the middle of the tournament. Ferox, I mean, it doesn't matter. Same, looks like. Yeah. Yep. Mankind. Ferox says challenge accepted as he's on the verge of taking our Guilty Gear Strife Intermediate Showcase. Ooh, avoided the throw. Ooh, patience. Empty with nothing. Yeah, the universal change now with most characters close slashes being plus really did uh, improve a lot of the cast up close, some more than others, but yeah, definitely with that soft reset from Ferox with uh, close slashes is pretty good. Then again, Giovanna's massive buttons and massive active frames. Ooh, PRC. avoided the throw, smart. PRC really not uh, going very far for Ferox. I think he's been punished out of just about every single one uh, set so far. That's true. Pushing has been, as a as a defensive option, has been chicken blocked quite a bit. Ooh. Oh, oh back God, in the blender. Around it. Back in the blender. Oh my gosh, the if close slash meet, action. Yeah, if you meet Milia in the air, you're meeting a button. You, have, you cannot just dash at her. It's true. Did get the counter that time. Ooh. Good spiral arrow, no RC, no meter. Oh, or, excuse me, no burst. Brock's going in with uh, burst. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta go for a teleport. It's so hard. That's again, once again, uh, in Snare Dash gets uh, knocked out. Oh, the double cross up. Oh, nice block of the empty left with Pushing Hat. <gasps> Swag combos with cool. TK yep. fall, fast falls. Oh, and it's gonna be. Yep. This is gonna kill. I don't think so. Oh! I've been wrong every single time this tournament. <laughs> of course, so fitting that I'm wrong at the very end as Ferox takes. The Strive Intermediates Invitational. Congratulations, Ferox. And that's that. So first place goes to Ferox, second place to Pushing Hat, third place to Sofa. Thank you to everyone else for joining as well. To Cleric, the first level Cleric, to Schoolgirl Crush, Iskin, and Set On Keys. What do you think of our turn? What do you think about? How do you feel about our showcase tonight, Azure Halcyon? Dang, that was uh, <laughs> some, some palm sweaty moments there. Ooh. We're gonna try to get Ferox in here to uh, yeah, talk to him a little bit about his uh, win there. 
But what an exciting night of Guilty Cure. Azure, thank you for casting one of these alongside me again. What do you what do you think we should I think I think I know what our next FGC showcase is going to be. It's a game that's uh quote unquote arguably in the FGC. It's brand new. People have been enjoying it. I think we will make it an open bracket rather than an invitational bracket. But uh can, can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's the Sailor Moon fighting game. It's the Sailor Moon fighting game. No, I think our <laughs> next just just an announcement to everyone here now. I'm fairly certain we're going to make our next invitational uh oh, wait. multiverses. Uh and while we uh, talk about that, we have Ferox here. Hello, Ferox. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations on your win and your Thank Strive you. Intermediate. You, there we, we go. I'm never going to call you an intermediate player again. <laughs> I don't really think I should have called you one in this tournament. So uh, uh, go ahead. We'll give the honorary win to Pushing Hat. First place, Pushing yay. Hat. Yay! Oh, honestly, <laughs> I was in uh, the general call with some other uh, guys, and I was like, I'm scared of Pushing Hat. Like, honestly, after that first match, when I saw I needed to rematch him, that actually was a scary thing. But um, I think it went right. Well, Shout that's... out to Pushing Hat. He really fucking improved. He's really good now. I, I know, like, I, I, I kind of had a general idea of the last time I played a lot of these players, and Pushing Hat, um, holy, he, uh, shout outs to him, congratulations on second, because Pushing Hat, the last time I saw him, did not have that in him, and that was, nope. that was awesome. Uh, that said, Ferox, the spotlight's on you, talk to me a little bit about how your attitude changed against Pushing Hat specifically uh, after that first 3-2, because, I mean, you were the tournament favorite, and he almost sent you to the Shadow Realm round one. Talk to me about it. Talk to me about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think, like, the um, the first match was, uh, the first set was a little bit figuring out how are things going, who's playing, like, what, and then Pushin had, like, turned himself up for the next two matches, and I was like, okay, shit, now I need to change something. So what was the change? So, yeah, I, like, uh, I looked at how he played, and he was pressing a lot of buttons everywhere, so I just played slower and waited for him to whiff some and then uh, go in. Or wait for him to dash in and then go for it myself. So I played it a little bit slower. I also used some um, less supportive things, like waiting for the timer to run out before rematching, so he doesn't get his momentum. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. kind of shit. You just just uh, slowing the game down a lot and then uh, seeing my opportunities. Mm -hmm. And, and then, I um, also brought that into the final, and that's uh, how we got here. Right. Um. So, so next question is, uh, what? Well, this is our. We, so we do these uh, by skill groups. We do these showcases just so people get tournament level experience against people that you know. You're not just getting washed out 2-0 in a bracket against the best players in the world. You know, we want that bracket experience against people your level, right? What do you think? This being an intermediate tournament, what 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 do you think you yourself need to get to that next level to break that plateau? What what do you identify in your own play that uh, you want to work on and improve on? Uh, matchup experience, a lot of matchup experience, you know, frame data, that kind of stuff. Um, that mainly it. I also need to be grounded more as a media player. I'm in the air a lot, and that's quite punishable. So I need to be grounded a little bit more. Um, other than that, learning a few more reset combos. I know one, uh, that's not enough. That's mainly it, and also, uh, buff Milia, thank you, I appreciate it. Alright, Azure, do you have any questions for our Guilty Gear Intermediates champion, Ferox? No, that was a very good showing. Thank you. Alright.